Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today um, we're going to discuss what's been done since the last video. In episode two, we discussed things that needed to be done, such as the cooling system needed to be flushed. There was a lot of trash in the cooling system. The radiator cap and so forth um, was very, very nasty. It had like a paste sort of uh, substance on it, um, as if the coolant had been coagulated and what have you. Also, my speedo cable didn't work. I was in the process of also trying to figure out um, what to do about that as well. Um, in addition to um, looking forward to uh, episode three, which we're in now, to discuss what we were planning to do in this episode. This episode, we were going to actually go through and do uh, interior detail and that kind of thing. We were actually going to do the cooling system flush. Since then, because of the weather, and in addition to um, not wanting to uh, mess the engine up or anything like that, I went ahead and had it. Uh, professionally done by taking it to the shop um, to get that done um, but um, as you know in our last video in episode two the idle was a bit high and um, needless to say um, it, it ran very very high even though I was able to get the car started so um, I'm going to walk you through exactly what was done show you what was done and then I'm going to go ahead and give you a start uh, so you'll be able to see the car starting at a normal running temperature and let it run for a while and discuss other little quirks and things that I've found since then. So and well, without further ado, let's get started. All right. So I'm going to prop the hood up. One, I'm going to need a an engine prop because this isn't going to work. I've already looked online and I found uh, some alternatives. As far as hood props go, I think I'm going to go with the hydraulic lift um, where you have the little hydraulic arms. Um, that way I'll be able to, uh, and pardon me, it's a bit cold out here and I'm doing this with a sweater on. I know that I definitely don't make any sense. However, <laughs> I'm doing this to make sure that you guys get a full, um, a full breakdown and experience of what I'm experiencing while going through working on this project. Um, so... I need to get a hood prop. I've already researched that. I will be doing that here in the very near future. I've seen some at a good deal online. So I'm going to be replacing that soon. In our last episode as well in episode two, there was an issue with having to get the car jumped. or it, it would. I thought that it was having a battery issue. Um, it actually wasn't having a battery issue. It was actually having a problem where the, um, the battery terminals just weren't tight. So... I need to I needed to get those tightened, which they were uh, they were tightened and uh, and now everything is in good working order. However, I'm still going to go ahead and replace the battery just to be on the safe side. You can never go wrong replacing uh, a battery in a car, especially going toward the wintertime, um, which we're already in. So um, since our last video, obviously, again, the radiator cap that I had previously was it worse for wear it was the original. I've had that replaced. The flush has been done. So as you see, there's some dirt and debris which was actually rust inside of there rust and paste of something where they might have mixed coolant um so it was a bit of everything and it just again with it being a swap you never really know what you're going to get you get a good running engine but you don't know what was actually done to maintain it so i'll be going through as the weather gets warmer cleaning this engine up detailing this engine down but in the meantime I did myself before I took it to the shop. I actually uh, was able to pull out the, res the coolant reservoir and I cleaned this out. As you can see, um, it's just it's just wet. Um, I know that looks like soap. It's actually bubbles um, because I had uh, run a uh, I had run like a, a cleaning solvent in it and I washed it out. And so the bubbles are there. But um, needless to say, there are no worries with that. Again, the system was completely flushed out, cleaned out, um, and the idle actually uh, was set. The idle had a, the vehicle actually ended up having a vacuum leak. The vacuum leak uh, was attributed to this little um, where you see this metal bolt here, the little uh, six point uh, head um, that's kind of pressed down into this um, this rubber hose. Um, that little nipple there that the rubber hose is sitting on was actually um, it was actually open and it was um, taking on too much air and it caused the vehicle to run um, extremely high. It was revving at about 2,500 or so RPM um, and when it was in a cold start position. Since then, 
uh, that's been replaced. So now we're going to go ahead and we'll get started uh, with the actual uh, engine start. So we're going to start with the cold start so you guys can actually see the vehicle running um, um, since, the, um, since I picked it up last night. So as you hear, the car is actually running um, at a nice, nice, even maybe, what, 1,500 RPM. Um, but I did notice a few quirks since I picked up the car. Obviously, um, there were a few things that we talked about previously. One, I needed a radio. I, I did roll the carpet back out, but I didn't want to tuck that away, uh, tuck it nice and neat. And get that cleaned up and do some interior detail as you can see the floor is disgusting on the driver's side i'm going to have to get that cleaned up but then there is the uh, the shift boot needing to be um needing to be replaced i actually have one that i pulled out of a camry uh, however um i'm undecided as to whether i'm going to go ahead and dye it and, and um place it in in, the, in the, as a replacement or if I'm going to go ahead and just get one offline. I, I did see some online I thought about getting. Um, pretty good deal um, from like either Amazon or eBay. I could get a replacement shift boot, so that's not a problem. Um, I definitely need to put some replacement screws in here once I install a new radio. But the quirks that I found since I picked it up. Uh, one, my clock doesn't work. Two, my dash lights don't work at all. Um... And three, my oil pressure um, indicator is not working. It doesn't mean that the that obviously I've got oil and so forth. I drove the car last night, but what I did notice a few different things. Uh, one, again, my headlights work. The vehicle's running, but my marker lights don't come on on any side, um, whether it's on this side, uh, on the driver's side, the passenger side. Um, and even in the rear, my tail lights don't work. So I'm wondering what's going on with that. I'm thinking it could be a fuse. Obviously, I still need to get the C pillar trim and there are some rust spots that need to be cleaned up on the vehicle. But I am finding that there are a few different quirks that I'm going to need to, uh, to fix on the vehicle, um, uh, moving forward. So that way um and so we so we've got a long way to go and that way when you guys get a chance to uh see me walk through this process and through this bill you'll get to see um from my from my perspective and my vantage point if nothing else um the way that i feel the car should be built i'm actually looking at uh also going i'm going to clean these wheels up I, I don't i've always liked the little triangles i think that they're nice but i think for the setup that i have uh, being that i have the um the coilover suspension a 20 valve swap and it has a more uh a, a little more of a sporty and assertive stance i think i'm gonna go through and uh drop some 15s on it i was thinking about some some of the inkies um however please drop a comment and let me know what you guys think uh would look really nice on this car to kind of set it off give it a more of an aggressive stance but also give it a a little more of a sporty look i'm actually gonna look through and uh, I'm actually gonna look to uh, repair and, and repaint uh, the front spoiler. If I can find or fabricate some new eyelids, I'll be doing that as well. Um, in addition to that, I'm also gonna need a, a, a replacement mirror. As you see, my mirror has a crack on the driver's side. Um, I'm probably gonna pull those off, repaint those, and then um, if I can find a new replacement glass, I'll be replacing the glass, obviously. Um, either way, there's work to be done to this project. Uh, along with that, I still need to replace the T-top, um, the actual, the arm as far as the, when you open it, when you release the T-top the release, um, it is actually broken right here where the cover is. It works and it opens, but there's no cover. So I'm going to have to get that replaced. So as you all know, there's a few different things that I'm going to be doing um, in the next video. I'll also try to do, as we get closer and get a little warmer throughout the year, there's a lot of dirt and debris 
um, inside the engine bay. So I'll be cleaning the engine bay up, cleaning the engine. I'll also be fixing uh, this little indention right about here. Um, at, at first I was going to go ahead and replace the engine uh, lid, but the mechanic that I spoke to said um, the way that the paint shines on the car, I mean it does shine very, very well. Interior, everything is in good condition. The car is running very well. No smoke. He was like, look, don't worry about it. Um, you might be able to pop it out. So that's what I'm going to be working toward. I'll probably go see if I can get a dent puller tool and maybe pop it up uh, and pop it back into place. But uh, yeah, let me know what you all think in the comments. Um, again, some of your thoughts as far as uh, how you all would like to see um, this project, uh, which direction you'd like to see this project go in. Uh, this is a keeper, um, so I won't be selling it. At least I don't think I don't think I will. But again, if you all like what you see and you like the content that I'm trying to bring to the channel, again, please like, share, and subscribe this video. Um, you know, share it, please. Hit that notification bell. Um, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. It also helps um, with, um, you know, uh, it, it just helps support the channel. So, yeah, please, 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 again, like, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know your thoughts and comments below on some of the things that you think that I should be doing um, with this car or you'd like to see done with this car. And um, until then, you know, uh, take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Stay happy. And, um, and stay well. All right. Thank you for watching.